Hello everyone, welcome to 1111 Tarot. I am Danny, also known as RD, over on the Missing in Minutes channel. You just need to look down below for that link. All right, my lovelies. So you guys, today is October 30th. It is Saturday and it is 1019 at night for me. I'm going to start pre-time stamping, if you will, every video. As the predictions come true, you can look back and see, you know, the validation, if you will. Now, you guys, we've hit well over 3,000 subscribers almost overnight, which has been shocking. So I did a few lives, extra lives as a thank you for everybody. And now I have this for us. So when we hit 4,000 subscribers, I'm going to go through our subscriber list. And I'm going to give this beautiful book away to one lucky subscriber that I'm drawn to. It's called Kitchen Table Tarot, Pull Up a Chair, Shuffle the Cards, and Let's Talk Tarot by Melissa Sinova. And then I'm going to write right in the cover here for you and sign it. And that lucky subscriber may just be you. So there you are, my lovelies. Thank you to all of you, all of you that are sharing, liking, subscribing, or commenting. I greatly appreciate it. And that is what's helping our channel. So, my lovelies, if you would like to join behind the scenes, there's also a little join button, and you can hit that, and you can be kind of behind the scenes with us in a big way. I mean, you get to see all kinds of wonderful things, and depending on what level you want to be on what team, that's completely your call. All right, lovely. Wow. Wake up. Oh, look, we have blood. We have blood. It says blood. Okay, so this reading is going to be about, are you ready? Brian Laundry. Yes. See, we're getting closer to the Day of the Dead. And that's, yes, the light's flickering. That's what I've been waiting. It says, gather, tolerate, blood, gather, tolerate. So with that, you guys, I've already said my main prayers for the day. I've done several readings. And um, I'm just going to clear the energy to make sure that we get the right clear conduit of the truth okay so we're going to be checking the brian laundry family as well as brian laundry's energy we're just going to roll with it here all right here we go ground and clear protection in place gratitude given thank you for the abundance the guidance and protection Archangel Michael, thank you. Okay, you guys. So, I want to start off with Brian's energy. Brian's energy. Can you show me Brian's energy on the planet? So, um, if we get a death card or something, we'll know. Okay? So, what is Brian's current energy on the 3D planet Earth? Brian Laundry's 3D energy a plant. He's planting. We all know Brian loves plants. Plant. Okay. Does that mean planting the bones? <laughs> We're going to find out, lovelies. The veil is very thin right now. If he's there, we'll find him. All right. Here we go. Brian Laundry's current energy on this planet. Six of Earth. Abundance. And ten of water, happy as hell. Wow. Could have been any card. Had to be that ten of cups. Happy. Success. Mm-hmm. Feeling generous. Wow. So, I know. You guys are like, well, what about his teeth? Well, there are implants, you guys. Just because you get somebody's teeth doesn't make them dead. Okay. Um, what about his bones? Well, let's see. I mean, we need some conclusive results on bones. So, according to this, Brian's current energy is the Ten of Cups and Abundance on the planet. Let me understand. Were his parents involved in the bones? Because they never found the bones. They found the dry bag. But did... They actually put the bones there. Did they actually have something to do? Well, let's ask this. 
let's clarify this. Did they have something to do with Brian's bones? Wheel of Fortune. Moving in their favor. It's a satchel full of tools. Like, kind of like you would think of like a backpack full of every tool you need to do the trick. It's moving forward in your advantage. And it's also scooting time ahead as well. Not repeating an old cycle, but moving forward in a whole new way. Show me Brian's family's energy level right now. Ten of coins, happiness, abundance, happy home. Grow. They're growing. We've got plant. We've got grow. Yeah. This is why I can't get upset over the findings. I just can't. Yeah. We have somebody very much in control. Show me Brian's current energy. Very much in control. It says the Emperor growth. This is somebody that they've got it under control, literally. They have the magic wand and they're at the top of their game. Show me what Brian's plans are. What are Brian's plans? What are Brian's plans? Thank you. What are Brian's plans? Three of Cups to celebrate a victory. Mm -hmm. Does this, I mean, you've got the Ten of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, the Ten of Cups. That's a 10-10, right? Six of Earth, that's a transformation. And Three of Cups celebration. These are beautiful cards. How is Brian, how is Brian getting these beautiful cards? I don't feel his energy crossed over at all. It's like the void. It's not there. That's why I cannot buy what they're selling us. <clears throat> I need to understand why they feel like they have found Brian right over here. We're going to continue. Oh, no? Okay, we'll continue with this deck. Now we're going to good tarot. Let's understand what the deal is with the bones. Are the bones really Brian's? Are the bones, not the teeth, I'm asking about the bones. Are the bones Brian's? Are the bones Brian's? Show me a death card, a three of swords, something negative, if it is Brian's bones. No. Mm -mm. Instead, I get this magical unicorn event, hidden water. Remember when I kept saying hidden waterfall? Look, we got two words at once. Hidden water. Wow. Seven of fire, this unicorn. I can fly now. I'm magical. Look what I've manifested. Did Brian's lawyer help plant the bones? Did Brian's lawyer help plant the bones? Able. See, he was able to. He wasn't being watched. He went with the family, so the day before. Yeah, when it was open. Uh-huh. Did Brian's family, lawyer, the loyal dog, plant the bones? Ten of Earth. That's a positive. Absolute yes. Planted ten. See that the coins represents material items in the earth. Wow, you guys. Mild. Oh, I don't know if I want to know what's worse. All right, let's go ahead and get some understanding of this Wheel of Fortune and them planting. Let me understand what Brian's doing. 
today, like right now, on this Saturday, what is Brian doing? <laughs> He's making plans and doing contracts and working together with someone. Yes, there went the light. This is the Wheel of Fortune. You've got it twice. I'm qualifying the Wheel of Fortune. He's moving forward in a big way. I also have the Material Earth working together, signing contracts, working with people. Three energies. This is in your house of communication because it's your third house on the 1111 board, your Gemini, Mercury. <clears throat> Show me in the cards I'm listening you guys hold on I'm hearing a lot a lot of energy here from you guys asking questions yes did Brian get his teeth pulled did Brian get his teeth pulled Yes. Regretfully so, he says. We have the three. Three teeth. He did it to avoid heartbreak. To avoid this. And to end the scuffle. The five of wands. This communication back and forth. To suit the communication. And show a form of death. But it's hidden. Yeah. Three. He has regrets about this teeth. It's in his house, this one-on-one -on -one relationship. <clears throat> Jeez. Ahead. Mild ahead. Did Brian get away with murder? I got a story. Stinky fish. Bad offer to the Empress. Page of Pentacle. Offering something small. And the Hermit. That's probably what Gabby meant when it came up on the God box that it said um, betrayed afterlife. Because he's not there. He's faked his death. That's what the cards told me long ago. I believe the cards over every man. Yeah, he's got a single energy going on. This is somebody that's sound. Plenty of money. They don't need anybody. They got it all going on. Yeah. Light flicker. Did Brian's father premeditate the teeth? Yep, yeah, Brian's father premeditated his death. It's in your sixth house. Your health and hygiene. Your health. Brian's father premeditated his death. Did Brian did Brian's father actually harm him? Did Brian's father actually harm him? No, but he closed the world. He closed the cycle by his movements. By putting the teeth there. He planted the death and the story grew. He planted the teeth and the story grew. And that's what the World Wide Web sees. I'll ask again, is Brian dead? No. He has a whole new beginning as a page of wands, starting his whole life out. He has a brand new beginning. Says director. Hmm. Is Brian a serial killer? We have the hanged man. 
We have the star. We have the lay to rest. We have the tower. We have the queen of wands. So it's a change of perspective about healing and death and a tower moment and now entrepreneurial. He sees death differently than we do. The Queen of Wands is like media. It's being watched. Watching this death. Yeah, he's really healing. But he's faking that he's laying to rest. My dead card. So we actually have healing first. Hi, Karen. Every We've got that several times while doing the Brian Laundry reading. This is for sure the second, if not the third time, I get Karen. So what is the name Karen about? Director Karen. I have no idea. Let's get the celebration that Brian's having right now. Three of Cups. Partying it up. Where at? Because the judgment's final. He knows. He got away with it. He pulled it off. It's judgment in his favor. He has a decision. The Scorpio on the board. Eighth house. Transformation. He has a decision about this transformation that he's made. What's this decision about the transformation? <laughs> oh my God. Lordy, Queen of Pentacles and the death. And some people are going to say, he did die, I told you. But this is transformation. This is right here. The decision of the transformation. This is somebody stable that owns their own business. And this is the journey. See? This is the transition, is the journey. To become stable monetarily. Maybe run the family business. Who knows? I'll let you draw your own conclusion. Phrase it how you'd like. All right. Let's get some blessings on these cards. We'll do another reading tomorrow. <clears throat> Show me this Wheel of Fortune for Brian's family. Wake up call tsunami. It's moving past the media. That's definitely... There is communication of Brian being confirmed. It moves in his favor that it's his bones. Uh-huh. I don't know how they pulled that off. <clears throat> yeah, he's healing and making money. He's in a good place. He's got ancient shaman healing going on. And he has a star card. This emperor, this emperor Brian, what's he want? He's vulnerable right now. What's the outcome of this, this celebration he has? It's three of cups, three energies, always three with him. Yeah, he got out by grace. Mm -hmm. He's using the grace. Ah, uh, karma catches us all eventually. Show me this. New moon, broken promise. It's a hidden new beginning. It's reversed. I don't take these in reverse, but this time it came out so reversed that it's a it's a hidden promise that he's going to have a new beginning. Well, guys, I don't see any reason to say he's dead. What I have here is the decision, the judgment coming in from law saying he's dead. And that's why he can celebrate about this new promise. 
That's why he's got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Coins, the Healing, the Wheel of Fortune with the Emperor. Because he beat the system. And that's what's being bought is the death. So it will come out according to the law that this is, you know, confirmed to be Brian. Look, bear. He's the grizzly bear. He's the bear that ate the Pisces instead of protecting. And with the lights. As far as I can see, he gets away with it. I want to find out tomorrow if Brian plans on taking another life. He's in the city. What city? Can you give me that since the veil is so thin? Can you give me on the God box? What city is Brian in? I would love to know. Yeah, see, it's blocked. With that, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Rush. Rush to city. I bet he did. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you again for your time and showing your love. You guys are amazing and you brighten my day. I look forward to every minute I get with you guys. And yes, it does take a lot of energy to do these readings. So that's why, you know, I only do so many a day. I can't wipe myself out. I got to be able to continue and look for the missing kids and so forth and missing people, which we seem to have a pandemic of at this time. Um, again, if you are into wanting this book and you would like me to sign it and deliver it to you through the mail, I would simply ask you to be a subscriber. And when we hit 4,000 subscribers, I'll go through the list and I will pick one. And whoever I'm drawn to gets to own this beautiful book. So I'm so excited. Translate. <laughs> All right. With that, I love you guys to the moon and back.